All right, guys, so I literally found out how to win an SMA. And if you guys have watched the end of the video, you're literally never going to make it. So make sure you literally spend like 50 minutes, however long this video is going to be. And literally all the gurus are going to hate for actually exposing this because they try to overcomplicate it and then just give you, you know, the solution in the course. But I'm literally going to pretty much leak it right now. And I don't think anyone actually in the market looks at SMA this quickly and this and this good. But I'm literally going to show you guys how simple it actually is because it literally only comes down to three different factors. And if you just optimize all these three things, you literally just win automatically. And guys will spend literally two years. So I'll actually show you guys right now. So this guy, this one guy spent, uh, I literally made this intro in one of the school groups I was in, he said it took him two years to hit 10k month, right? And for me, it took me uh, literally 90 days. So I've also taken guys from zero to 10k month in literally two weeks, zero to 20k month in 30 days as well. All, all these crazy results, right? But I'm just going to kind of leak all the sauce right now. So to make sure you guys actually watch the end. So, okay. The first thing you guys have to understand is everyone overcomplicates this so, so, so much, but it's actually very simple. So the first one is obviously your booking rate. So booking rate is literally the first different variable that actually influences 10k month. So booking rate can be influenced by multiple other things. So I'm pretty much going to talk about one variable, then I'm going to talk about every single factor that actually influences that one variable. So with booking rate, I'm pretty much going to name every single factor that's going to influence this right now. So if you guys want to click off video, you know, stay in the matrix, never hit 10k month, that's completely fine. Um, but there's actually a lot, a lot of things that pretty much no one else in the industry actually knows. It's going to go over right over here. Okay, guys. So, so here are pretty much all the factors that actually influence the booking rate itself. Now, this might seem kind of like messy, to be honest, but let, let, me, let me explain. So first of all, is your actual positioning, right? So Let's just say that on the cold email, or let's just say on the cold call, that you're positioning like a completely like no one's gonna respect you and then they're not gonna book it with you. Like, for example, if a homeless guy calls you up versus like me calling you up, there's obviously gonna be a massive, massive difference of actually how they perceive you or how you perceive me versus a homeless guy because of the positioning, right? If I'm framed as someone who's very high confidence and I actually give you the perspective of me being able to make you money, then the obviously the book rate is getting okay so just make sure you guys are actually using the right stimuli right so like if you guys are just using the same script as everyone else like it's just it's just not going to work right so this is probably the most important thing you'll ever look at today and this is obviously alex mosey's value equation and pretty much what this means is the dream outcome times likely to perceive achievement times divided by time delay times effort and sacrifice so if you guys play on their dream outcome and you show that there's a high likely to per perceived achievement chance of them actually getting that through the messaging divided by time delay and obviously effort and sacrifice okay so if you pretty much hit them with all this right stimuli, then they're gonna be like, okay, this guy actually is gonna help me make money. So I'm gonna book and call with him. That's pretty much what's going on subconsciously behind their mind. So you wanna make sure that you pretty much tick off all these all these things. So in my type of outreach messages, let's say that I, that's, that was kind of weird, but that's better. So if I'm reaching out to a realtor, right? I wanna say, hey, I could get you once to do extra listings every single month, like we have for all of our other clients in the next 90 days with super low effort and super low sacrifice with a brand new method that no one else has heard of. And it's also on a complete zero basis. Like I'm saying so many things that's kind of like ticking things off of their mind. That's going to be like, oh shit, this guy actually knows who's talking about. He can actually make money. Because if they, if you actually, I realize like if you give them the perspective of you being able to make them money, that's when they buy in, right? But you have to say the right things to get them to call first. So that's, that's just kind of like an average script. But if we're going to say for cold calling, right? So first of all, you guys need to optimize the pickup rate. It's obviously super, super simple. Make sure it to be verified. Make sure you make sure you're double dialing and also make sure you have the right lead source and also make sure you're using the same local area phone. Like if you're calling from a California number to Florida, they're just not going to pick up. So make sure you do that. Next thing is actually cold email. Obviously deliverability is very important. Make sure you guys get the right deliverability. Also the amount of email accounts, all that stuff as well. Next thing is actually lead source and also time of the day you actually call, right? So obviously make sure you call in the right times of the day and make sure it's, you know, afternoon or kind of 10 a.m. ish, I'd say. Um, also lead source, make sure you're not fucking, you know, getting random mass leads from random mass places. So this is something I'll reveal later on. And I'm actually gonna make a calculator. I'm actually gonna reverse engineer 10K a month and show you guys how fucking easy it is. So right, the next thing is actually here. And that is, okay, so here I have a list of literally every single factor that actually influenced it, but I'm, I'm gonna like, just hold up. I'm actually gonna frame it way better. So, okay, so second one is actually show up right, right? So I pretty much compose all the stuff into very, very important topics. So I'm pretty much gonna be making the highlights of all of them and pretty much briefly explain each one. If you guys don't understand this, none of your clients are gonna show up to call. Even if you do have like a 60 service and show up rate, it literally could be up to 90. So make sure you show up on here. Or if you just wanna miss out on tons of cash, then obviously you can just click off the video, totally fine. Now, first one is actually positioning slash framing, right? So first of all, you guys wanna have a confirmation email being sent to them. This is pretty much just gonna have the first initial touch point be like good frame, right? So also more importantly, incentivize them to actually show up to the call because you guys to realize something. Ask yourself, why don't you have 100% show up rate, right? If you truly position yourself as a 10 out of 10 person, the show up rate would be 100%. Besides, if they're like their grandma dies or something like that, they have reschedule. But, but like, that's pretty much the only reason why they wouldn't show up, right? If you truly position yourself like someone and you gave them the perspective of the type of person you are, that you were able to make the money, they would obviously show up on the call, right? They wouldn't just like no show you. So make sure your positioning is good. Right, so in this confirmation email, it should have stuff like uh, a brief kind of rundown of your offer 
and also the outcomes and benefits of what's going to happen on the call. You need to incentivize them enough to show up to the call, right? If you show them, okay, I'm going to give you free bonuses, free benefits on the actual call, then they're also going to show up, right? Because who doesn't want that to help other business? Also, what happens when they actually search up your company on Google, right? What actually, right? What, what actually shows up? Do you guys just have nothing on there? Do you guys have fucking uh, some hate, hate reviews? Like they're obviously not going to show up because of that, right? Literally just get on podcasts with business owners in your niche. And it's going to help you guys so, so, so much with them actually showing up. They're like, okay, this guy's actually authority in the niche. He has good positioning. That's what they're thinking in the back of their mind, right? Next thing is actually your tonality in the first point in contact. Like I said, if you guys are sounding like complete bums and you guys just have like no authority, no confidence, no energy, like they're just going to be like, okay, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. This is why like VAs don't really work for cold calling because yeah, you guys can have like VAs like Indian or Filipino VAs, but the book rate might be okay, but the show price is just like completely shit because their perceived value of a company is so low and they don't have the perspective of your company making them money. So that's why it's not worth their time because if they were to actually think they had a good perspective and like they think you're actually gonna make them money, they will actually spend like 30 minutes to an hour to show up to sales call, right? Uh, next thing is actually backend slash pre-call video. So make sure you guys just have this that you're being sent to them before the sales call. Super, so important. It pretty much gonna, this could also backfire though. Make sure you have good positioning, you know, make sure you're looking nice, dressing nice, all that stuff, and not, you don't, you know, sound like a complete geek as well. Uh, it's gonna be huge. And in this back end pre call video, you're gonna have stuff like outcomes, benefits, who this is for, who this is not for, client results, um, what this kind of service everybody likes, what the offer is like, the guarantee, all that stuff. Uh, to kind of just like brief rundown. Now, also, client results, super, so important as well. Um, so just make sure you guys are actually showing them client results. If you guys don't have any, it's totally fine, but social proof is a huge thing as well. Because if you're able to show them a person who is in their shoes right now and they got this transformation that they want to get to, they're obviously gonna show up to call and they're obviously gonna close as well, right? So it's very important. Similar, right? Similar to confirmation email as well. You could have that in the actual, um, right? You can have it in the client result. Um, and also in the back end as well. And also uh, make sure, okay, so th these all go here. So many fucking arrows, but these all go here. And it's very, very important you guys have all this. And all this stuff is, right? All, all this stuff is actually gonna relay to other points as well. I'm gonna cross reference a bunch of stuff later on. I'm also reminding them, slash forgetting, uh, make sure you call them up for 24 hours before and then also five minutes for the actual sales call. Um, and also text reminders, email reminders, you guys are know all that stuff. And I feel like a lot of you guys right now probably only really have this in place. Uh, so just make sure you watch uh, the rest of it because I have a lot more to cover with Shopper as well. Next thing is actually sounding different from the people, right? If you guys realize, okay, like, if you're just going to sound like everyone else in the market, they're not going to show up to the call. This is also another major, major reason why they don't show up, right? And before I get into this, there's actually one more thing with this, which is reminding them slash them forgetting. Uh, so just make sure the booking time frame is no more than two to three days out max. I don't really like an even booking out more than two days. Try to do two days max, ideally even same day or or like just one, right? So obviously sounding different from other people, this is huge when it comes to your offer, right? So very, very important you guys have this. It's the most important thing. If you guys realize like if everyone's just like sounding the exact same, you're not incentivizing them enough for them to show up on the call because they think that you're like every other company. So what's the point of them actually talking to you? Because they're pretty much the same person, right? So very, very important you guys do that. Um, like, like I said, make sure you don't share leads. Uh, this is a huge one. A lot of like, you know, other companies will kind of share leads, but obviously most SMAs won't, but most like, other ones like Angie's List or other uh, ones in, in real estate, for example, like those guys all share leads and you, you really want to like demonize them. You kind of want to like shit on those companies because then you're going to sound like, okay, you're going to sound way better and you're going to just sound like above them kind of thing. So it's actually going to incentivize them enough to actually show up. Right. Next thing is actually building the relationship, right? Very, very important. So ask them questions on the first initial call. You want to ask them this one question right here. So you want to say, so typically realtors have like three, three main problems. Either first one, they don't have enough time to actually close leads or the lead quality is absolute shit or they just don't have enough leads in general. So out of those three, which ones would you say is like your biggest problem right now? And when you ask them this question, it's gonna, you're gonna sound like an expert in their niche and that's gonna remind them in their head, be like, okay, this guy actually knows what he's talking about. He's not just like an eight year old in his bedroom just trying to sell me like shared leads or like shitty Facebook ads, right? And you might be doing that, but like it's just gonna position you as a way better. So uh, just, just make sure you guys, also how long the initial contact point was, right? If you guys are calling for like five minutes, that's good. That's actually very good. Make sure it's not like one to two minutes because if a guy calls you up for an hour on a cold call, like you're obviously gonna show up the call compared to a guy you talk to for like a minute, right? Or like two minutes max. Make sure you're talking about five minutes, you're asking a few questions, but you also wanna go into the next lead as well uh, with cold calling. Um, and also just make sure you don't sound like every other person who's kind of selling the marketing services, very, very important. And also phone call reminders. So just make sure you call them up about 24 hours before and also five minutes before. This is honestly the, probably the most important thing I'd say is, is literally this one here. So make sure this is very, very important. Uh, make sure you guys are doing that. It's super, super important. Like my show rate was literally super, super high when I was literally just had this and a few text reminders, right? You can do all this other stuff, but very important, you guys. Obviously booking time for result went over that and also your offer went over that as well, right? So this, this comes down to so many things, right? Cause I could cross reference over here to that. I could cross reference over here to that. I could also, right? I could also cross reference over here to that 
cross-reference her to that. They're like, there's so many different things that, that come here, like even with client results, positioning, sound different from other people, you're getting better results than everyone else in the market, right? Same as this question over here, asking them that question, you're gonna just sound different from other people in the market, you're also gonna build a relationship more, and your position's gonna be way better. Like, there's just so many different things you guys could do. Now, this is looking like really messy now, but before this kind of gets all weird, let's, let's get into the next one, right? So, right, so next one is actually your close rate, right? So with close rate, okay, so with close rate, there's only, there's actually not too many factors. It really only comes down to a few different simple things. So first one's obviously your positioning. Positioning is so important, guys. Like positioning just means like your frame and how you, how they perceive you, right? And how you can actually influence that to the highest amount. So obviously how you sound, right? Make sure you guys have like, you know, good voice. Like you can't really, you know, change that too much, but just make sure it's more about just like how confident you are and also how much, and also like how much energy you have. It's more about actually mirroring them as much as you can. So literally just try to like mirror them and just sound like them, right? You also want to sound different from other people in the market. So other guys who are very important to do that. Because if you just sound like everyone else, your offer is going to be the exact same as everyone else. And they're not going to buy from you because they can't choose. There's no different variables, right? So also how you look, make sure you guys are looking good. People who are more attractive have higher clothes rights just based off uh, science, all that stuff. But also offer is super, super important as well. So make sure you guys have a good offer that actually incentivizes them enough, right? So going back to the Alex Mosey Valley equation, let me just pull this up here. So so this is literally the only thing I focus on again, right? Dream outcome, make sure you get them, let's say for realtors, let's say want to do actual close deals, perceive like an achievement. Let's say we've done this for all of our clients, you show them client results, case studies, or if you don't have that, then you actually use conviction. So conviction is one thing that you can use uh, in case you don't have that, right? So conviction is gonna increase in their mind the perceived likelihood of achievement because, okay, this guy's confident, therefore the results must be good, right? That's kind of what they're thinking in their mind. So obviously time delay as well, make sure you guys have it a certain time delay, so make sure it's like fast as physically possible and also just make them, show them that they're gonna have to do not as much work as they typically are doing, or show them that they're gonna have to do less work compared to other offers. Very important you guys do that. Um, and also just build a rapport slash relationship, right? Right, one thing I noticed actually that across all of my clients that I signed, the ones that I signed, I built so much like a rapport and relationship with that they all just like closed just because of that, right? As it literally only comes down to trust, right? Trust is honestly the biggest thing I would say uh, for actually closing people, because if you if they can't trust you, they're not gonna fucking pay you guys money. Like that's just kind of how it works. So trust is very important. And obviously there's a bunch of other factors, all the other ones that's gonna increase your close rate to you know 74% like my top mentee he's doing that's inside the mentorship so if you guys do want to join message me on Instagram at Eric and I'll pretty much bring you guys to you know 10 20 30 40 50 k month within the first few weeks or months whatever it is and um, like I've done with all my other clients but besides that guys trust is very important like you guys just won't close deals unless you have this in place um, because essentially what you guys are doing with SMA is you're expecting a stranger who didn't know that you existed literally like a day ago before you cold call them that you just ever exist on this planet and now you're expecting them to pay 2k per month retainer online to a complete stranger like you you just if you just think about like what that actually is that like you guys just need to build trust in order for this and now there's one more thing that th this will just not work if you guys don't have this in place so let's just go here right let's just let's just revert right so here here's 10k month right so this is what you guys want right 10k month is literally nothing though once you guys hit it you're gonna want to feel like 20k 30 40 50 k month. well once i hit 10k month i actually went straight to greece i literally went traveling with the boys and it was absolutely so it was so much fun living in a massive greece villa um but besides that guys let's just go into reverse engineer right so this well once you guys watch this to the end you're gonna understand how easy it actually is right so 10k month is literally 2k month retainer right times five clients so five clients let's say in order to hit five clients you need to have a close rate of let's say even like 15 percent right right in order to get a 15 percent close rate all you guys have to do is just implement all the stuff i mentioned here right just do all this stuff and it's going to increase to the max now next thing is literally just show up right right so okay but let's just reverse engineer so uh five by 15 so you need 33 showed up sales calls right in order to get 33 showed up sales calls let's say you have show up rate of like 70 percent right so 70%, so 0.7. So you guys need, let's just say 50 sales calls, right? To actually hit 10K a month. And in order to get 50 sales calls, let's say, and in order to get a show prey of that, you just need to focus on all the stuff I mentioned here, with show prey, which seems really fucking messy, but anyways. Uh, so in order to get that, you need to do all that stuff. And let's say you even have like a 5% booking rate, let's say 5% booking rate off cold calling. So 50 divided by 0 0.05, that's literally just a thousand cold calls. Uh, and you guys hit 10K a month. So that's, it's literally, it only comes down to that guys. It's, it's literally like, there's no other, there's no other secrets. The literally the only factors that actually matter is close rate, show up rate and booking rate. That's literally the secrets of 10K month guys. So booking rate, make sure you guys follow all the stuff I mentioned here to get up to 5%. I literally had a 10% booking rate when I was cold telling myself, make sure you guys do all that stuff. Very important. There's no other, you know, God in the sky. That's literally it. That's all you have to do. And you just focus on this and you guys will hit it. Just optimize these three variables. Booking rate, 
show up rate and close rate and you guys will hit it. That, that's all it. Now, if you guys are already at, you know, a few clients or even at zero or whatever is already at five, 10K a month, and you guys want to obviously scale to the fucking moon really, really fast, just DM me on Instagram at Eric and I'll show you guys the way. Uh, literally take Joe from zero to 30K a month, 60 days. Zero to 50K a month, 90 days. Sam Will, zero to 50K a month. Omid, zero to 20K a month, 30 days. Like all these crazy results. So if you guys want to just, you know, waste your time, spend a few years or a few months, whatever it is, hit 10K a month. Yeah, you can do that. But if you guys want to do it fast, I'm happy to help, to mentor you. If you message me on Instagram, at Eric, I'll personally reply to you. And we can have a little convo, have a little chat. But yeah, besides that, I don't want to pitch you guys too hard. I'm just kind of open here, happy to help you guys. So also DMs open if you guys have any questions as well. Make sure, stay tuned. The Dubai vlog is coming. It's going to be super sick. Uh, we were actually just there. just got back. I was there for a few months. And, uh, and yeah, we're back. Going to do a quick 30-day sprint, hit in uh, 200K months. Uh, we'll see. But um, also, I pay 0% tax as well, so that's, that's very nice. Taking all that home in profits, so it's good. See you guys on the next one. Absolutely love you guys if you did stay to the end. And uh, appreciate you guys so, so, so much for me on this journey. It's, uh, it's a very fun time. So I'll uh, see you guys very soon now.